was no blight. I'm... So, here's the thing. We need to find a way into the deep roads. Bartrand can lead us to the right place once we're down there, but we need a good entrance. Any entrance would do, wouldn't it? Well, unless a dragon's sitting in it, I suppose. We need an entrance that's close to our destination, but isn't already plundered or filled with darkspawn. Fortunately, I've received some new information. There's a Grey Warden in the city. If anyone knows how to get down there, it'll be him. Why would a Grey Warden know that? The Wardens don't just fight Darkspawn. They forge into the Deep Roads all the time. And if he doesn't know, he might be able to point us to those who do. We don't want trouble with the Grey Wardens, do we? Uh, let's look at our options first. I'd rather not fight a Warden unless we have to. Supposedly, this Grey Warden came in with some other Ferelden refugees not long ago. A Lowtown woman named Lorene has been helping the Fereldans. We talk to her. Maybe we learn where he is. I'll keep after my contacts, see if I can drum up any other work. We heard you in there, asking about the healer. We know what happens to mages in this town. And it ain't gonna happen to him. I'm as Ferelden as you. I won't harm your healer. Ferelden? But you, your clothes. I figured you for a Kirkwaller, sorry. Make her bless the rule of our King Alistair. made this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. Why do you threaten it? I want to know about the Deep Roads. Did the Warden send you to bring me back? I'm not going. Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Poor Sir Pouncelot. He hated the Deep Roads. I've always heard that joining the Wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the Darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the Archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well, you don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes. I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with, and some reasons of my own. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot, in the Deep Roads. He was a gift. A noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Drew blood, too. The blighted Warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think about the blighted Deep Roads again. You can't imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor... Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me. I'll help you. Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. I have a warden map of the depths in this area. But there's a price. I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend. A mage. A prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. 
I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. You want to make your friend an apostate? That's such a weighted term. Yes, Andras they said magic should serve man, not rule him. But I've yet to find a mage who wants to rule anything. It goes against no will of the Maker for mages to live as free as other men. I doubt the Divine would agree with that. The Divine is only a mouthpiece for the Chantry. The Maker does not speak through her. What, you teach the Templars their own faith? They seem pretty devout. Never mind. I do not seek debate. Only your aid. I'm not sure about attacking Templars. I might rather take my chances with the Darkspawn. If we fight the Templars, it is because they decide that anyone who befriends a mage deserves death without questioning. Doesn't fighting them prove their point? They don't need more reasons to hunt us. These are my terms. If you want my aid with your expedition, meet me in the Chantry tonight. I have sent word to Carl to be there. Make a willing, we will all leave free men. I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew I had to be... made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. This is the apostate. No! You will never take another mage as you took him! You won't be forgiven for this! There will be no mercy! Go down! I... Anders, what did you do? It's like... you brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But... it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Carl, no. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. The tranquil I've met seem content with their lot. Maybe it's not that bad. You have no idea. Your emotions, your dreams, everything stripped away on someone's whim. If I were made tranquil, I would wish for a friend compassionate enough to kill me. Carl, I'm sorry. Now! It's fading! Why do you look at me like that? Goodbye. We should leave before more Templars come.
That wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I... This is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine, I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. We became friends, and he recognized the injustice that mages in Thedas face every day. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. They are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But... I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he... changed. So... you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. I just need your Grey Warden expertise. Not a diatribe on your strange personal habits. Here. These are all the documents I have for this area. I can understand if you would rather me not join you personally. I cannot control my need for vengeance. I would ask no one to take on the danger of traveling with me. I will be here in my clinic if you need me. People. We are the last of the Elven. Keep that in mind, Hawk. Elves you see elsewhere, figments of your imagination. They have given up their identity to live among Shemlin. They are Elven no more. What's a Shemlin? An Elven slur for human. It means you're not one of the people, and you should leave now. I'm not expecting tea and cakes. I just need to see someone. There's nothing here for any human. Wait. This is the one the Keeper spoke of. A Shemlin? I thought she'd be an elf. Enter the camp. Keeper Marathari has been waiting for you. Cause trouble, and you'll meet our blades, stranger. Marathari? I was told to bring you this amulet. And Aranatishan, travelers. Indeed, I am Keeper Marathari. Let me look at you. There's truth in your face. A rare thing in a human. Tell me how this burden fell to you, child. Your guard said you spoke of me. How did you know I was coming? I listened. To the wind, to the birds, as the hunters do, to my dreams. I watched the stars. There is great wisdom to be found all around us, if you know how to listen for it. But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Exactly what have I been carrying around? Is it magic? It is a promise, child. Made by one whose word still has weight. And therefore, it has terrible power. There are few things in this world stronger than a promise kept. Remember that. Your guard said you spoke of... 
But I was not certain. Nothing is certain. Are you the leader of these Dalish? Why did the witch tell me to bring this amulet to you? I am the keeper of this clan. It is my task to guide my people and to ensure the old ways are not forgotten. As for Asha Bellinar, I am tied to her, just as you are, by a debt that must be repaid. A dragon fell from the sky, charged some darkspawn, then asked me to bring you this amulet. No big deal. You are blessed by luck, then. I will pray that Mithal watches over your path. The amulet must be taken to an altar at the top of the mountain, and given a Dalish rite for the departed. Then, return the amulet to me. Do this and your debt will be repaid. Are you going to teach me this rite for the departed? I will send my first with you. She will see to it the ritual is done. And when it is complete, I must ask that you take her with you when you go. That seems a little odd. It is her wish, and I must grant it. You will find Meryl waiting for you on the trail just up the mountain. Dareth Shiral. Oh, I didn't hear. You must be the one the Keeper told me about. Anethera. I'm so sorry. I didn't ask your name. Unless... It's not rude to ask a human their name, is it? I'm Meryl, which you probably knew already. I'm rambling, sorry. Why are you leaving the Dalish for Kirkwall? I have to. Let's leave it at that for now, all right? I get the feeling you're in trouble. It's not like that. Not exactly, anyway. The Keeper and I have disagreements, but it will sort itself out in time. Did you hear that strange noise? Oh, I didn't hear anything. You seem awfully nervous. I've never met a human before. Dalish mothers frighten their children with stories about you, you know. Not you, personally, of course. I'm sure they don't have any tales about you. Or not scary ones, at least. Not that you're not notable enough to have a story. I'll just shut up now. You'll have to work harder than that to offend me. My name's Hawk. Thank you. I'm afraid I'm not very experienced with your kind. The Keeper said you came from Ferelden. I spent most of my life there. We only came north a few years ago. Have you been in the Free Marches long? Do you like it here? Oh, I miss the cold. And the dirt. Kirkwall's not brown enough for me. But hey, no darkspawn. Ferelden wasn't that brown. The dirt and muck gave it character. We should go. Your task is for Asha Bellinar. It's not wise to make her wait. Let's get this over with.